as we begin to explore the alien Niagara's of beauty that pour through your consciousness under the influence of some of these substances, we are going to discover that we are not what we thought we were. The, the monkey flesh is penetrated by something, dare I say it, divine, or at least alien, transplanetary, and beyond the power of human comprehension. I don't know if we're talking about God Almighty here. I don't know if we're talking about the God who hung the stars like lamps in heaven, as Milton says. That seems a tall order. Maybe what we're talking about is the God of biology. Uh, something has happened to this planet. It has become infected with an informational, call it virus, call it force, call it being, that is using matter, and yes, using our flesh and our thoughts to bootstrap itself to higher and higher levels. And now the prosthesis of machinery and the possibility of an artificial intelligence raises the real option of producing, of actually midwifing the birth of an entirely new, not species, but order of biological and intelligence in existence. The human machine symbiote is upon us. I mean, it's been with us for a while, since the first wheel was carved, since the first stick was sharpened. But that was all very simple stuff. Now it's clear that we are in partnership with an other mind, which comes to us through our machinery and through the biosphere. Wherever we press beyond the thin curtain of rationalist culture, discovered the incredibly rich, erotic, scary, promising presence of this intelligent other, which beckons us out of history and says, you know, the galaxy lies waiting, a galaxy of galaxies lie waiting, lose the encumbrances of three-dimensional space, return with the word to its higher and hidden source. And at that point, you will discover the alchemical uh, 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 paraclete will be given unto you. The alchemical dispensation will be given. And as James Joyce said, man will be dirgible. <laughs> what did he mean? He, he meant that we will lose the limitations of physical and three-dimensional space, that we are destined to become mental creatures. You say, well, isn't this a terrible thing? What about this, that, and the other? All the things you're worrying about, we turned our back on 25,000 years ago. We have been marching through this virtual reality of our own creation for the entire duration of what is called human history. Now, uh, is there a political implication to all of this? I think the political implication is, A, a personal one. We all must try to understand what is happening. We need to try to understand what is happening. And in my humble opinion, ideology is only going to get in your way. Nobody understands what is happening. Not Buddhists, not Christians, not government scientists, not you know, no one understands what is happening. So forget ideology. They betray, they limit, they lead astray. Just deal with the raw data and trust yourself. Nobody is smarter than you are. And what if they are? What good is their understanding doing you? The people who walk around saying, well, I don't understand quantum physics, but somewhere somebody understands it. That's not a very helpful attitude toward preserving the insights of quantum physics. Inform yourself. What does inform yourself mean? It means A, transcend and mistrust ideology. Go for direct experience. 
What do you think when you face the waterfall? What do you think when you have sex? What do you think when you take psilocybin? Everything else is unconfirmable rumor, useless, probably lies. So liberate yourself from the illusion of culture. Take responsibility for what you think and what you do. And then the other political implication toward community is a lot of people are going to be very anxious because change raises anxiety in people. And people who have limited opportunities to educate themselves because of cultural, culturally inflicted abuse are scared because they can sense that everything familiar is giving way, but they don't want to embrace the unimaginable. These people need to be reassured. They need to be reassured by example and by hearing optimistic and reasonable rhetoric about the future. Selling the future as an eight alarm fire, which is how the media does it, uh, only makes the same future impossible. So we need a responsible approach to thinking about the future. And it means taking personal responsibility for your drug taking, for the ideas, the means that you push into society, and for the images that we share among ourselves. You know, one of the great truisms of the New Age is that images can heal. But I've never heard anybody discuss the obvious contra implication, which is images can make you sick. And you are constantly bombarded with images which disempower, divide, confuse, and, and, and make crazy, basically. So I think the reason psychedelics are such political dynamite in any culture is because they dissolve cultural assumptions. The scales fall from people's eyes and they say, does this make sense? Does my job make sense? Does my relationship make sense to my significant other, to my government, to my children, to my environment? Do these relationships make sense? And of course, if the answer for most people in high-tech society is no. We've been compromised, we've been deluded, we've been sold a massive pottage. The way out, then, is personal responsibility, new operating systems, downloaded from outside of culture, which means from the deeper wisdom of the psychedelic plants, and then a commitment to community and a motto of to the future without fear.